voting ensemble combines the predictions of multiple models to make a better decision on one hello everybody welcome back to my channel today we are going to understand the voting ensemble you know learning and the two core concepts are there which are hard voting and soft voting we will understand them and post this session we will uh, so see how our practical aspects of uh, my you know voting ensemble learning is working so let's talk about it this is the last one which we are talking about voting ensemble learning so till now what are the different ensemble techniques we understood guys it's just you know let's refresh our memory on that so we understood about bagging then we understood about boosting then we understood about stacking blending then the final one is my voting bagging is based on what guys bootstrap aggregating bootstrap aggregating boosting again we have gradient boosting right gradient boosting then stacking we understood we have meta learner we have a meta learner blending just one more advanced one where averaging averaging concept comes into picture right then we have voting so voting we have two things which you have to understand one is the hard voting and soft voting so these are the two concept we will understand now so before moving ahead on hard boosting and soft boosting what are the different factors we need to consider when we are working on voting so uh and before moving ahead let's understand like let's refresh what is bagging first so what we understood in bagging we are getting sub sampling of my data sub sampling of data then after that once we are getting our sub sampling we it's creating like it is you know creating different base like it is taking a base model and the base model here is a homogeneous one right homogeneous one suppose it's not suppose it, it is always taking a decision tree so my decision tree will take like it will create many decision trees dt1 dt2 dt3 right what it will do it will take few samples samples that means with same training data it will be you know creating different samples in each uh, decision trees right samples then it will right all these things will come for a voting so here also we understood about majority voting right so and that majority voting will give me the output so this is our bagging and how it is different in voting one major difference is in case of voting we are using multiple multiple base models we are taking multiple base models when are talking multiple base models that means these are different algorithms different algos different algos so the algos can be knn then sbm then we have uh, dt then we have uh, random forest right then we have logistic regression these are the major you know algorithms which are considering and all each model each model will be a different so this is going to be knn 
this is going to be SBM. This is going to be decision tree RF LR. They will predict. So we will get some prediction. This is my prediction. Predict one. This is my predict two. This is my predict three. This is my predict four. And this is my predict five. Once we will get all these predictions, what exactly it is going to do? Now we, we have the concept of hard voting and soft voting comes into picture. So till you know till our hard voting and soft till that point the steps will be staying safe. Now we will see what is the difference or how my hard voting works. So hard voting. When are talking about hard voting, what exactly it is happening? We got our you know uh, individual base model output. We got individual base model output now what exactly it is going to happen it will suppose i am getting the output suppose i am getting the output for my model 1 i got output as 1 and suppose you have two classes as your you know target 0 and 1 right two classes you have 0 and 1 so my model 1 is giving me 1 my model 2 is going to give me 0 then my model 3 is going to give me again 1 my model 4 is going to give me 1 and my model 5 is going to give me 0 keep it in mind that in my hard voting it always relies relies on your labels it always relies on a class level so what is class level that's nothing but a 0 and 1 in this case now what exactly it is going to happen it will count it will count what is the total count of 1 1 how many counts i have 3 counts 0 how many counts i have 2 counts now my voting comes into picture which is which is there as a majority quantity i have one as a majority quantity so my output will be one and based on that here we are what we are checking when we are trying to do you know our practical uh, point of view we are checking our accuracy so if it will give this then my accuracy will be more now we will understand my soft voting So what exactly it is happening in my soft voting? Again, the steps are same. We are getting different base models of which we are talking as a heterogeneous models. Now what exactly it is going to happen? We will get here it's a bit different. We are going to get the confidence label or my predicted probability. We knew how we are going to get our probabilities, right? When we are getting our prediction, at the same time we have a we have a method called predict underscore proba underscore. So with that we are getting our probability. Now again here my class I am going to be zero and one. These are my target. These are my target. Then what will happen? I have model 1, I have 5 models, right? I have model 1, model 2, model 3, model 4 and model 5. What will happen now? It will, instead of giving me class levels, we need to consider here the probabilities. Suppose, what is the meaning of probability? As I have 0 and 1, 2 classes, my model 1 will tell, okay, I have like positive class only we need to consider every time, right? So, what will be the probability of getting my positive class here? Suppose. So, here suppose I am going to get 0.81. I got my probability. Then, in my model 2, if I will get 0 
Get my model 3, I'm going to get 0.43. Get my model 4, I'm going to get 0.31. And if my model 5, I'm going to get, you know, it's, it's going to check. That means here, it is going, here it is checking for 1, here it is checking for 1, here it is checking for 1. Here it is checking for 0, here it is checking for 0. Why I am telling 1 and 0? Because it is taking, it is ca you know, considering which, which class or which label is having, you know, maximum number. And it is giving me the probability of that. So, here it is telling that I have one class uh, presence is having more than even in model 2 I have 1, in model 3 I have 1, in my model 4 I have 0 and in my model 5 I have 0. So, here I am saying that I have my major classes present, but I, instead of going for ahead with my label, I am going, I am giving the probabilities. Now, what will happen for class 1, it will take average of all probabilities. That means it is going to take 0.81 plus 0.64 plus 0.43 divided by 3. From my class 0, it is going to take point, okay, uh, point 0.31, if this is going to be point 0.69, <coughs> mm. point 0.31 plus 0.69 divided by 2. So, we have to calculate the average. So, let me quickly calculate the average of it. So, I got my output as, this one is point 0.62. This one is 0.5. Now, what it will see which class probabilities or which average probability is more. So, I have got my class 1 as uh, 0.62, class 0 as 0.5. So, it will select 0.62, which is nothing but my class 1. So, my output is going to be class 1 and if it will select this as output that means my accuracy score will be high. So, this is what the concept of hard booting and soft booting and we will understand what are the different advantages and disadvantages when we are considering these. So, few advantages we have the advantages of my, uh, you know, hard voting and soft voting we have are as we are following, you know, the simplest approach. So, one is going to be simple. And one more thing, guys, when, like, when in real scenario we are working, going to work on this, we can add weights. We can add weights. Why we are adding weights? What is the purpose of adding weights? So when you are adding weights, and this is an optional, this is optional, this is not mandatory. But when we are adding weights, we are giving the equal chance to each algorithm to work. So, with that, what are the things we are handling? We are handling bias. We are handling generalization. So, what exactly is happen, going to happen? Based on the capabilities of the algorithms, as we are taking different algorithms, based on the capabilities of the algorithms, it is going to work in the way so that it will, you know, it will be always generalized, less error will be there. And it won't be biased on one output. Just the way we understood during our class imbalance because that is important. Even here also this is important. And this is an optional because when we are doing hard voting and soft voting, as we are going here to the majority, if we will not add weights, that, that's, that's going to make sense. But you know to handle the error, to make the error converge in one point we need to consider some weights and uh, we will see during a practical session on how it's going to work now we will uh, get back to our advantages so one is simple second we more 
बेटर जनरलाइजेशन थर्ड इज इजी टू इंप्लीमेंट so these are the different advantages and when like when we are considering you know hard booting and soft booting this is a part right this is a part of my sk learn okay this is a part of my sk learn and in my sk learn i have you know like how how we are implementing we are going to implement with st matter so these are the different parameters which are going to consider so in my st matter we have to before that we have to define our base models base models then those estimators we have to give input as a models then we have to just pass you know the type of booting so booting is going to be either hard or soft right and we will see what are the different kind of probabilities we are going to get here and uh, uh guys start subscribing uh, if you i mean if these concepts are making sense and uh, if uh, you know i'm helping you in any way so just go ahead and subscribe like share your comments share your valuable feedback share this channel link to all your friends and your ones so that they can also learn these concepts and uh, uh let's meet during our next video guys so see you till that time bye